Yes. Yeah. So I'm here to detail about the experiment coil friction. This is the setup of this experiment. It is a metallic cylinder, and uh, there are three pulleys for getting different area of contacts. So, how to get the area of contacts depends upon the arrangement of ropes. This is the rope, and uh, there are two pans attached. Uh, one with the cylinder and the other with the pulley the aim of the this experiment is to determine the coefficient of friction between the outer surface of the metallic cylinder and the rope the coefficient of friction depends upon the nature of the contact and the area of the contact here nature of the contact is uh, here a smooth surface but not it is a ideal smooth surface regarding the area of contacts so there are as there are three pulleys are there and due to the various arrangements now we are going to uh, demonstrate the how different uh, area of contacts are made as one can see the area of contact between the outer surface of the metallic cylinder and the rope so it uh, makes 90 degree pi by 2 at the center area of contact is from here as you can say one fourth of the cylinder so this is the one kind of arrangement and uh, angle of contact is here 90 degree another area of contact as we are showing the area of contact means the angle of lapse so as we have shown the 90 degree and uh, now we are showing how to make 180 degree first after 90 degree 180 degree so this is the contact surface surface means the half of the this cylinder and uh, what about 270 degree so by passing this pulley and one can see this is the suppose uh, the point of the contact and this is the point of contact so uh, it is a uh, 3/4 of the cylinder means 270 degree and uh, what about 360 degree so i am going to pass the rope from the top one pulley and one can see here the area of the contact over the circumstance Yeah, means uh, over the surface of the cylinder. So it starts from here and ends at here itself. So in this way, 360 degree angle of contact is made. Now coming to the observation, how to take the observation? So one can see the table of the observation. The heading is coil section and. Uh, Uh, here we have to take observation of tight side means t1 tight side tension slack side tension t2 and uh, angle of lap which is theta in radian remember not in degree and uh, from with the help of the formula one can see it is t1 divided by t2 is equal to e to the power mu theta so from here we can get the uh, value of mu with the help of t1 t2 and the uh, angle of contact okay uh, now we uh, we will do the procedure 
how to do this experiment and first of all um, here our aim is to find out the coefficient of friction between the rope and metallic cylinder and for that we have to uh, we have to maintain some condition here as we know the coefficient of friction will be maximum at the limiting condition of friction and to attain that limiting condition we have to check that the rope will at the verge of motion or when motion impends in the pan we have to take the notation, uh, notation of that load which is applied on the pan which causes the motion in the rope and that that condition the value we get from these two pen will give the value of T1 tight side tension and T2 slack side tension. As we can see this is T2 side. I have applied a load of 50 grams here and it is actually weight, slotted weight. We are applying at both pans and we check for further how much load is required for maintaining the uh, you can say starting the motion on this uh, row in this pan and for that we will just gradually increase the load in the pan to check for limiting condition of friction so earlier uh, earlier i have applied a load of 50 grams initially as we can see this rope is uh, right now stable no motion in the rope again we increase the load by 20 grams again again we can see there is no motion in the system we further increase the load by 7 grams as we can see here this rope is started sliding now it is at the verge of motion so we can say in that case we can say this is t1 tight side tension and the value of this t1 is uh, 97 grams so for raising uh, then for raising a load of 50 grams we require a load of 97 grams here in that case we can say this is the side for larger tension this is called tight side tension and this is the uh, side of smaller tension called slack, slack, side, slack side tension. Why this is larger and than that? Because as the motion, direction of the motion is in this direction, then frictional force of this cylinder will try to, uh, try to stop the motion or try to uh, stop the motion and direction of that frictional force in this along T2. As we can see from the FBD of the figure, FBD of this system, here, this is the direction for T1, this is the elemental length of, elemental area of the metallic cylinder, this is the side for T2. As we can see here, this is the direction for frictional force. This friction, to counter this frictional force, we require larger tension in this side. That's why this is T1 tight side tension and that is T2 slack side tension. And here for performing this experiment, we will keep T2 constant for different angle of lap. Now comes to what is angle of lap. That is described in the observation table. Uh, we have to find out this all angle of lap also. And here it is known. Uh, at this instant, this setup has an angle of lap of 90 degree. Likewise, the angle of contact 90 degree pi by 2, the measurement, the observation we have taken. So for now 180 degree, pi degree, the same procedure is going to be repeated. So one can say it is uh, our purpose is to get the limiting friction. So I am going to increase the load on this pan, the tight side, the slotted weight I am going to increase and uh, then we have to see the motion, nothing, no changes, again increasing the load 
it is a 20 gram yeah it is about to slide means uh, we got the limiting section so putting the weight and now it starts sliding so one can see it is a t 2 is 50 gram and T1 is 170 gram. So now to counter this T2, we have T1 as 157 gram. Now for the another angle of lap that is 270 degree, keeping the same weights on the both fans. Now we are making arrangement for the 270 degree the weight of the slack side is constant but here the tie side it is going to vary now I am putting so as this is the tie side and the slack side is this one now I am putting some load to get the limiting section there is nothing changes slowly increasing the weight still no change again still no change yeah so it is uh, now sliding so we got the limiting friction so total weight on the tight side it is 350 gram to counter the weight of the 50 gram on the slack side so in this way we can uh, perform the operation by uh, uh, the experiment by taking various angle of uh, lap angles or you can say the surface contact by passing over the different pulleys so in this way we have completed one set of observations to gain the another set of operation we have to increase the load on the pen of the slack side and uh, the same we have to repeat for the uh, different lap of angles in this way we can calculate the coefficient of friction with the help of t1 t2 and regarding the this uh, experiment uh, was based on rope what about the suppose there is a flat or we wheel kind of uh, uh, kind of things so there is a another setup for the v belt and a flat belt with the help of also if you see this one for the flat belt and this one for the v belt so in this way we can get the coefficient of friction thank you